Hello, 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 in today's video we will be trying new 4.5 Spiral Abyss. First we'll check enemies lineup, after that we'll make teams with banner characters and we'll see how they perform in the current Spiral Abyss. Is it give enough anxiety? Let's find out. New Spiral Abyss. And finally, finally, Worms is gone there. And I've already completed floors 9, 10 and 11, but I'm still haven't touched floor 12. And one interesting thing, right now we don't have monolith defense on the floor 11. Sometimes it was quite annoying to deal with that. And what we gonna to do right now to complete floor 12? I want to use banner characters in this spiral abyss. And right now we have Chioris and Eater's banners. Yes, my Chiori is not finished and has very mediocre build right now, but we will still use her anyways. And before we start team building, let's see at the enemies. Okay, okay, okay. Blessing of the Abyssal Moon. It's for the Geo characters, but it's quite bad. 6 second cooldown, 1 shockwave, and it's tied to Geo Construct. For some reason, Geo characters has very bad treatment. But anyways, let's see at the enemy lineup. On the first chamber we have Pyro Shield, so probably we would need Hydra to that. On the second half, Dendra Chicken, very easy boss. Second chamber, alright, alright, alright. At this point I'm starting to think that Hoyo was hating Geo characters. Right now we're having Geo only banners and for some reason they're putting enemies that directly countering Geo characters. So unfortunately we cannot use Ita on the first half. Second half, as I'm seeing boss rush run here, except third chamber. Here we have boss on the first half. Ice Wind Suit is probably most used boss in Fontania Spiral Abyss Cycles and the second half is just normal max. Alright, and now for the team building. As I said, I want to use banner characters and on the second half we will be using Ita Hyper Carry with Chiori, Goro and Furina. And because I've known as the Tainari main, I want to use Tainari on the first half. Even though we're missing Hydra character to destroy Pyro shields, even though we're having Zhongli and this will give us troubles against Black Knights, and even though Tainari is not great against multiple targets, so probably this is very stupid idea, but we're not seeking easy ways to play this game. And let's see how this will go. So Creed card, perfect, I haven't seen them for a while, so let's take it, let's take it, one of the best cards. And let's start with the mid build to deal more damage for the Pyro shield, so shield. Placing totems. Nahida, please take photo. I hope this would be our last photo. Nahida's burst. So going to Tainari. Skill to the burst. And the first shot. Unfortunately, they're having Dendra shields. Dendra shields and Parashield destroyed. Perfect. So Yimika, please destroy Dendra shield. And Yimika destroying Dendra shield. So let's finish. Let's finish the last globe with little dance with Nahida. And you enemies. And who are you? Who are you? Katya and Evgenia, so let's place him totems, you know photo, you know photo, so using Nahida's burst and Tainari, skill to the burst, let me shoot you, let me shoot you, first, second shot, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving, my aim is very bad, so middle, please stay in place, and where is my totem, so I'm messing up my rotation, messing up my rotation, well, lost some of the GPS, so anyways, another photo, Tainari taking the field and let's shoot the one that has more HP, second, third shot. Okay, let's finish, let's finish Nahida, quickly replacing totems, Tainari, skill, couple of shots and we have energy for the next chamber. Alright, Serpent's pack stack gained, let's go, let's cook some chicken. Starting with Furina, then double skill with Chiori, for some reason cold version with Goro. And final going to eat the best 120,000 Ushi. And the frame begins using charge attack 90,000, 90,000 plus charge attack. Going for second charge attack combo. And can we finish? Can we finish? And last Ushi throw. And this was exactly one cycle for the Dendro Chicken. That was insane. And let's go for the second chamber. That pretty useless card, but occasionally useful. So, what we have here. And right now we're having Dendra and Electro Spectre. That's unfortunate. That would take some time because Dendra and Electro are main source of damage. So let's go for Tainari using Burst and let's shoot something that no Dendra. Pyra, let's go with this one. Dendra, let's shoot Dendra. I give up. I give up. Let's shoot Dendra. And Yimika, please destroy Dendra Spectres. And unfortunately, Burst missed. Burst missed. Let's replace totems. Couple of normal attacks and explode, explode. And right now we are having Wopper Flower. So, replacing totems. Wrongly please shield. Wrongly please shield. Taking photo. 
Another skill burst, and they're done. Yeah, they're almost done. So going for Yamika to destroy Pyro Shield, and this is not needed. So now we're playing safe. Now we're playing safe. We not allowed to be hit because they will steal our shield. So Nahida, Tainari, skill into the burst, dodging, dodging, taking my distance, taking my distance, so they wouldn't hit me. Drop Meteor to keep them in place and on purpose. I'm skipping Zhongli's shield on purpose. So, right now we need to use Tainari skill and take our distance. So, using Tainari's burst, dodging, dodging Geo Aura, or shooting them from the distance. So, right now we can use shield, replacing totems, and Nahida, please finish. Tainari skill, and we are done. Pretty nice. And now let's go for the leg hypostasis. Let's quickly recover energy with a skill. Purina skill. Waiting for energy. Using Purina's burst. Switching to healing. Chori skill double. So Goro. Going to eat. Uh, using Ita's burst. And he is running away. He's running away. Of course. Let's wait for him. Let's wait for him. So using charge attacks. Can, can we push him? Can we push him for the second phase with one cycle? I hope so, I hope so. Yes, 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 we're doing so, we are doing so. Let's recover energy, let's recover energy. And skill, skill. Energy recovered. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Who do we have here? We have small thing. Pretty good. So Purina. Purina's burst. Going to Chori. Skill still cooldown, waiting for the skill. Your skill, Goro skill to the best, go for it, one Ushi, and where is the big boy, where is the big boy, we're hitting nothing, we're hitting us 133,000, and we are, we're not finished, we're not finished, we need to recover energy, so Goro, let's go, Furina, recovering energy, healing mode, and Ushi, and we are done, and we recovered some energy for the next chamber. Chamber number three, dancing do again three trade card. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So let's start with shield. Again, totems, totems. Porta. Burst. Final going to Tainari. Unfortunately, we don't have burst, so we will use our burst in the end of our rotation. So let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Second rotation. So again, Nahida. Again, Tainari. With a couple of charge shots, we need to keep distance from them. So let's go, let's go. Third rotation, only 30 seconds passed and we are making third rotation. So Nahida, Yimika, and that's why I'm loving Tainari. 40 seconds and we are finishing our third rotation and the boss is done. And now we are moving for the second half. And what is that? I don't know what is that. Is this the boss? It's a local legend, local legend, I never find that. So, oh, all right, let's go. Goro, Goro, Ita, Ita's burst. Let's go, using charge attacks, we're doing no damage right now, and now we're doing damage. All right, all right. I have resistance to interruption, I have resistance to interruption. Oh, all right, let's jump, let's jump, let's jump. So, let's go, second rotation. We need to restore energy, we need to restore energy, I've messed up my previous rotation. Alright, let's go to Ita, Ita, Furina, Furina, Furina recover energy. Alright, let's go, rotation, Furina, Chori's burst, Chori's doll, going to Goro, finally Isita's burst, Ushi. let's use charge attack and boss will be done, boss will be done, yes. Let's make a couple of jumps. Couple of jumps, die please. Yes, and we are finishing. Last fight was kinda sloppy, but I've not expected that. But we're finishing for the full stars on the first try. Conclusion. That was quite surprising Spiral Abyss cycle, but I think overall it's easier than previous one. First of all, we don't have really tight elemental requirements here, and you can use almost any team that you want. Second thing, enemies is not that energy greedy, and energy management for the team felt very comfortable. And the third thing, DPS check and enemy spawns was very comfortable too. In the end, all the players wouldn't even feel this Spiral Abyss cycle. But for the new players, Black Knights could give some troubles, and you can counter them with crowd control, hyper bloom of freeze teams. What teams you used in your spiral of this cycle? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for the watching. Subscribe to my channel. 
and I'll see you in my next video.